Yo, what's up, Freeze Army, and welcome to the Mako Incarnation Escalation. This is set in Hokkaido. My name is Mr. Freeze2244. This is going to be level 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Uh, the first level, you're going to need your um, lethal syringe. We're going to start at the, obviously, the defeat default start point and run straight up the ramp here. And here is your target. Pull out your modern lethal syringe, crouch, and then uh, stab him as soon as you can. And then just exit the level. It's just as easy as that. It's a quick poison kill. And that will take care of level 1. Obviously things get a lot more difficult. Uh, when you start reaching level 3 and 4 and 5. But that will take care of level 1. That's the silent assassin. All 5 levels here will be a silent assassin. Obviously got some challenges here popping up for me. Nice and easy level 1 to start us off with. So for level 2, these are the items you're going to need. You're going to need your lockpick and your remote breach charge. Uh, we don't really need the pistol, but we're going to bring it along anyway. And we're going to start in the patient room at the default start point. And uh, this is what you're going to need to do. So first of all, we're going to have to uh, basically take out the target. You know, uh, We're not going to kill him because we're not allowed to kill him because obviously the mission failed. So we're just going to set it up. That's all we need to do. There's the target just walking past. He doesn't even show up as a target until you've stolen the contents of a safe um, so as soon as yeah, we get that we'll have 60 seconds to kill this target um, so because I don't really like the, the whole the whole rushing along kind of thing I'm gonna try and uh, cheat it a little bit well, not cheat it but um, it's a very very good and efficient way of getting around it so I'm gonna subdue this guy in the bathroom and we're gonna hide his body Just stick him in the closet here. And all we're going to do now is just wait until that director comes back up the ramp. And then we're going to create a distraction for him. And bring him in the bathroom and knock him out. Here he comes. So I have to be a little bit patient for this. Um, there is a person that just stands right in front of the this door. So we're going to wait for him. On the mini if you're looking on the mini-map, you'll see this guy. We're going to wait for him to move out of the way first. Uh, before we create a distraction. So we open the door and then throw the breach charge in the corner of the room. Once that other guy has walked away, that is. And then we're going to quickly go over and pick it up and move away. And when the uh, director goes over there in the corner, close the door and then subdue him. Then all we're going to do is just drag his body in the cubicle where uh, we just put the previous body. We're just going to leave him on the floor because if we hide him... Uh, it counts as a mission failure. So we're just going to drop a breach charge on his body. Uh, we're going to put both of them there, there because we don't need uh, two. We're just going to need one. So we're just going to leave it there for now. And then we're going to go and get the contents of the safe. And then we're going to go and uh, activate the breach charge and kill him straight away. So we can kill him literally in the first few seconds of actually grabbing the diamonds. Then the diamonds location is just going to be over here. So if you want to just climb down the pipe all the way down the bottom. And then climb through the window. You're going to use your lockpick to uh, open the safe. And then when you grab the diamonds, just activate your uh, your trigger and then blow it. And that will take care of the target. So all we have to do from this point is just head straight to the exit. And we're completely done for level 2. Nice and easy. Nice and simple. No one goes even. No one even goes into that cubicle for a good few minutes. Anyway, so you have plenty of time to ex uh, escape the level. So take any exit you want to. So we'll just we'll just take the uh, the cable car exit. And there we go. There's your Silent Assassin rating for level 2. So then we can go ahead and move on to level 3. Now for level 3 we have an additional target. So what we need to do is bring along our shuriken. And have that stored in the morgue storage area. We're going to bring along our lockpick and our remote breach charge. So we have to kill the new target with a shuriken. And we have to kill 
the uh, the director with an accident kill, a shuriken, or a katana. So we're going to kill him with an accident kill. So first of all, at the start, we're just going to throw a breach charge on the floor when we open the door. That's going to distract the security guard that's just walking past. We're going to grab his disguise once he comes into the room by subduing him. Pick up his gun as well. And take his disguise. So once you've uh, got the disguise now, we're just going to circle around the director there. He can see through this disguise. So we need to head upstairs and go and grab ourselves a fire extinguisher. And a fire extinguisher is just going to be in the security room. The security office is just here to our left. There we go. So you just want to wait here for a few moments. The, another guard is about to come into the room. He is an enforcer, so he can see through the disguise. Just going to wait for him to turn around before we can get out. There we go. Head out into the courtyard area because the director and another security guard can see through this disguise. It's a pretty lame disguise, really. It's not very good. But um, you know that's why we have to come out in the courtyard and circle around. But it doesn't matter because we have plenty of time. So you need to go up to this guy and knock him out with the, the uh, fire extinguisher. And then immediately you want to open this door and then fire, throw the fire extinguisher into the corner. And then drag this body just out of the way here. If you're not if you're not confident of dragging his body into the cubicle and store him in the crate by the time this guy comes in, just do what I just did there. Close the door and subdue him. So now what we're going to do is just drag both bodies into that cubicle area and drag in the patient into the closet because we need to get him out of the way because he's going to take the full full brunt of the force of the uh, the fire extinguisher if we don't hide him behind hide his body. And we don't want his body being found either, so we're just going to dump him in here. And then go ahead and grab your fire extinguisher. And then just put it a little bit far further away from the, the target. Because if you put it too close to him, uh, the breach charge itself could kill him, so that's not what we will want. So we're just putting the, uh, the fire extinguisher a couple of feet away from him. So once we've done that, we've set up that kill. And uh, we're going to move out and, and try and grab the diamonds first. So we're going to slide down this pipe once more. Climb through the window. And lockpick the safe. And grab the diamonds. And once you've done that, you can immediately go ahead and explode your fire extinguisher. Your breach charge, rather, I should say. Now we've only got one more target to take care of, and we have to kill him with either the katana, the accident kill, or a shuriken. And because the area that he's in is not really, um, you know, a vast majority of uh, options, we're going to go ahead and grab the shuriken that we brought along with us. And the best way to get uh, him by himself is by just coming over to this area over here and turning off this uh, fuse box that's over here. Well, it's like a spotlight, but it's the same sort of thing. And we're just going to hide here in this hide option. Nice. And either the target or the non-target is going to come out and investigate. So once he comes over, we're going to stop hiding and subdue him. Make sure you have your shuriken unequipped when you try to do that, otherwise the subdue option won't come up. And then immediately turn the uh, fuse box back on because... The target will come over here and he'll discover the body if you don't do that fast enough. And uh, you have plenty of time once he has his back turned. You can throw the shuriken at his head. And you can hide his body in the closet in the room if you want to. Or you can just uh, exit the level, which I'm about to do. I'm going to destroy the evidence first. And then head through this door here up the stairs. You need to watch out for the patrolling guards that are outside. open the door and head down the hill. You should have no problems from here on out. No cameras to trouble us, there's no guards to trouble us. So we can just take the snowmobile and take a safe way out. So that will take care of the Silent Assassin Raisin for level 3 and now we can go ahead and move on to level 4. Now level 4, what they've added is a wild card in which they've added or removed some things in the map 
and uh, the items you're going to need for this is, ba is basically exactly the same items we used for the previous level and you will be using these items throughout the rest of the escalation now as well. So from the start again we're just going to activate our uh, breach charge, we'll just select it and just throw it there in that corner just to get the guard's attention. I had so many problems with this uh, guard, uh, I was suffering from the punch glitch and I don't know if you, any of you are aware of it but uh, on some occasions when you're trying to subdue a guard or something or whatever you'll end up punching them in the face rather than uh, actually just subduing them and I'm, I'm guessing you're going to experience that quite a lot um, during when you're trying to do that because I suffered from it quite a lot as well. I mean ideally you could, alternatively I should say, you could throw the breach charge deeper into the room but um, you know it's entirely up to you really but that's uh, that's one way around it so we're just doing the same thing as we did before in the previous level and we're just going to grab this uh, fire extinguisher here this is what I thought they'd remove out of the level but it turns out that the, uh, the fire extinguisher was still there so I wasn't quite sure what they added or removed or moved around the le level because everything was appearing to be the same for me and um, so I didn't really understand what the change was until I actually got to the stage where I found out what it was. So, as I said, um, you need to leave that level and we're just going to come outside here and uh, walk our way around and come into this bathroom, just like we did in the previous level. Exactly the same, knocking out this guy here, opening this door, throwing the uh, extinguisher in the corner, dragging his body all the way into this cubicle area here and dumping his body in the closet before our target even comes into the room. And we're going to close the door, subdue him, and drag his body in the cubicle as well, just like we did on the previous level. I just think it's a bit strange how they uh, haven't highlighted him on the map or as a target uh, when you use your instinct until you actually grab the diamonds. It's their way of trying to make this a little bit more difficult, but because it's so distinguishing and we al I already know uh, where he walks and know exactly where he goes just from completing all the challenges well um, and so that's how I know that so we're going to drop a breach charge right next to the fire extinguisher just like we did in the previous level and that's going to set that up so now we're going to go ahead and grab the diamond so at this point I was thinking why is what is what's changed there? everything's exactly the same well we're about to find out so when we slide down the pipe here and we climb through the window um, I was surprised to see what I see. You know? I mean, I went through the window and I saw a guard just staring straight through the door, and I thought, oh no, they, you're not going to have a guard just staring straight through the door. I was supposed to get around that. But this is how you do it. You just want to throw a bridge charge in the corner. It's a good job that we have one left. And he's going to go over to investigate, and he gives us plenty of time to pick the lock on this safe. No problem. And then we're going to grab the diamonds, set off the explosion. and that will take care of that target. So we've got plenty of time now to take care of the other one. We're going to subdue this guy because we're going to need the breach charge again. We're going to need that back. So we're going to need it for a second distraction. So when we run up these stairs, we're going to head left, stay crouched. I'm going to throw the breach charge just over there. And the guard is just going to, he's going to pick that up and he's going to take it back down through this area. Now we're going to stand here as close to the corner as we possibly can and uh, the guard is going to come back around this area and we're going to subdue him as soon as he comes through the door. Now I've, again I experienced a punch glitch in this area because I was trying to hug the, the wall next to the actual door to try and do the subdue uh, trick that I always do and uh, it just, it, I, I ended up having the punch glitch every single time so when he comes through the door just grab him and just subdue him like that. And we can just leave his body there. No one comes back around this area. So again, uh, we can just leave him there. So now we've got to, to take care of the uh, our target. So we're just going to wait for him to move, maneuver around the bed here like that. So he has his back to us. So now we can go ahead and get the shurikens. And it's just going to be in here. Just like there was in the previous level. And we're going to do the same thing as we did in the previous level as well. So the only things they've added is those two guards that they've added in there to try and make it things a little bit more complicated. And it did, to be fair. And we're just going to do the same thing as we did in the previous level and, and turn this uh, spotlight off and hide right here on the gurney. The non-target, uh, again, is coming over to investigate. We're just going to do the same thing as we did before. Stop hiding once he goes past us, knock him out, turn the spotlight back on as soon as possible then throw the shuriken at the target's head and we're done. So 
and making sure you turn it on as fast as you can. Because if you're not fast enough, the target will come through that door and spot the body. So we're going to re-equip our shuriken. And uh, with the targets back to us, we can go ahead and throw it at his head. And that will take care of all objectives. And now we can head to the exit and we're done for this escalation. Well, not the escalation, actually. It's just for level 4. We've still got level 5 to do freeze. Stop jumping the gun. So just before we leave, we're just going to take out the evidence right here as well. And we're going to head down the corridor this time to our right. Because I figured it might be a little bit faster. But it turns out there's two enforcers at the end here. So you need to be careful with this. I don't recommend this exit. I recommend the exit that I did in the previous level. It's much safer because both of these guys are enforcers. And they got a strange head turning thing. And I was so close to getting spotted there. But uh, we made it. The ultimate goal is to just exit the level anyway, so you can take any exit you liked. But that will take care of level 4, uh, Son Assassin Raiden. So now we're going to move on uh, to level 5, the main difficulty of this escalation. And again, it's the same items as we've been using for the previous few levels now. And it's the same idea from the start. Uh, we just need to activate our, well, equip our breach charge from the start. Quickly run up to the door over here, open it, and throw it in that corner there. It's going to distract the guard that's outside. Hopefully you don't suffer from the punch glitch too much. But uh, there you go, we're just going to subdue him right there. As long as you throw it in that location, it tends to work most of the time. I can't say all the time, but most of the time it works. But our ultimate goal is to subdue him and take his disguise. And make sure we pick up the breach charge as well, because we need both of those. So again, we're going to work our way around here and do the same thing as we've been doing in previous levels. We're going to get the uh, the fire extinguisher. Oh, to come off today. And then we can move on to the uh, next part. Because now we need to take out both targets in either the ninja disguise, which is not going to happen, or um, you're going to need to take them out uh, with the motorcycles disguise. And it's not too difficult because it's pretty much just, uh, you know, the, the only thing that pink pink things... That, the only thing that makes it seem like it's more complicated is because of the time limit, you've got 60 seconds, but you don't really realise how much time that actually is. That's quite a long time uh, when you think about it. It's a whole minute. And to get to where you, whether you are to where the target is, it's very, very simple, and it's not that difficult at all. And I'm going to show you exactly why. So, like I said in the previous couple of levels now, um, I'm not going to keep explaining too much because I don't want to keep repeating myself, but uh, all we're basically doing is just knocking out the, uh, the patient dumping his body, creating a distraction and setting up uh, the director who's one of our targets for the kill a little bit later on. So when we grab the diamonds we, we can't, uh, you've got to avoid pushing that R2 button and triggering that uh, breach because on, on a few occasions I made that mistake and it just accidentally just slipped my mind. I forgot and you need that disguise for it to work otherwise you just mission failed, that's it, done. So you need to make sure you don't push that, uh, activate that breach charge once you've um, grabbed those diamonds, you need to wait. And because there's a clock there, it just makes things more, uh, you know, tense. That's, that's pretty much why uh, people are finding this difficult and they're a bit, uh, you know, worried about it and things. But uh, I'm on the case, guys. I'm on the case and this is how you do it. So we're going to climb down the pipe here and we're doing the same thing as we did before. And we're going to distract the guard that's outside with the breach charge again. Like I said, you have plenty of time to do this. One minute is a long time, so don't worry about that time at all. So we're going to come over here, open the door, throw the bridge charge in the corner. And he's going to turn around, get distracted by it, and we're going to pick the lock. And we're not going to grab the diamonds until he walks past the door. We need to wait for that. Now grab the bag diamonds, but don't re-equip the, uh, the bridge charge. Just, just leave it. Don't just resist the temptation and make sure you grab this breach charge as well because we're going to need that a little bit later. So again, like I said, it's counting down from one minute, but you've got plenty of time to get up here. So you can just run up here and uh, you can easily rush, but don't rush. I just recommend just taking this slowly. Like I said, you have plenty of time. Just crouch. Let me guess. Take it easy and just crouch all the way around the section here and you're home free. You've got 30 seconds to get the skies and it's just around the corner. It's literally right here. And we're just going to put the motorcycle disguise on. And as soon as you've done that, act, um, equip your breach charge, activate it, and there you go. It will take care of one of the targets with 20 seconds to spare. So now we're going to go and grab our shurikens, which is just here. We need to take out the target while still in this disguise as well. 
So we've got a patrolling guard that's hanging around the area, so we needed to get rid of him. So uh, to do that, we're just going to take it nice and easy. Uh, we're not going to rush through this. We're just going to get rid of him by uh, just putting a breach charge in his uh, in his uh, route. He's, he basically keeps circling around the morgue, and I was worried that um, I wouldn't be able to hide the bodies fast enough before he came back because the the box where he takes the the breach charge is only at the bottom of the stairs where we came up from initially so it's not a long distance away so he's wouldn't he would not be away for very long I didn't really want to risk it I don't recommend it either I just recommend doing what I'm doing here so he's taking the breach charge away so what we're gonna do is basically stalk him what you should have done really is just drop the breach charge and waited for him over here like we did in the previous level but um, I completely forgot and re didn't realize at the time, but uh, we did it perfectly well by just stalking him just like that. And we're going to leave his body there because we're going to use his uh, body as a um, going to use his disguise a little bit later on. So now we're going to come over here and we do the same thing as we did before: hide on the gurney. And this time the target gets uh, distracted by it, so it was a bit fortunate for us at this time. But uh, again, if it's a non-target that comes over, just make sure you do what we did in the previous levels, and you can get a half a minute problem. I'm going to stop hiding, I'm going to throw a shuriken at his head, and leave his body right there. Turn the uh, the spotlight back on, because like I said, he's the non-target will come over here and spot him, and we don't want that to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and put the, uh, the bodyguard disguise on while we're over here. And then we're going to head to the exit. And we're actually going to head ex head to the exit like we did in the on level three, and we're actually going to subdue this guy just in case because I noticed the white dot above his head and I thought he's an enforcer, he can see through the disguise, so better to be safe than sorry, and just take him out, just subdue him, and then we're going to just take out the evidence right there, and we're just going to head up the stairs and through this door. We don't need to watch out for anyone else because no one can see through this see through this disguise while they're out here. Now it says body found on the screen, but don't worry, that was the director, the guy we killed with an accident kill, so that won't affect your rating at all. I'm not going to lie, it did uh, it did startle me a little bit, but uh, you know I had to carry on just to make sure, and it was indeed the guy uh, that was the director that we killed with the fire extinguisher. So that's going to be doing it for this video, so thank you very much for watching, that's the silent assassin for the whole escalation. Uh, but drop a like on the video if it helped you out, subscribe here if you are new to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video guys. Cheers.